Following um, considerable research um, by I House in the last um, 12 months, it, it, it has become apparent that the, um, the greatest concern for landlords is um, that of a problem tenant. Um, i.e. a tenant that's not paying his rent or is behaving in an antisocial manner or sometimes where the landlord just needs the, the property back because they wish to sell the property. The, the problem with problem tenants that are not paying has become a lot worse with the advent of universal credit. Um, this, this, as many people are probably aware, has received um, much publicity and one of the greatest problems is that um, the rental element of the universal credit is paid direct to the tenant and unlike the old housing benefit system where uh, when a tenant had eight weeks of arrears you could automatically trigger payment direct to the landlord, um, it's my understanding that you still can't do that unless you have the consent of the tenant. Um, so with that in mind, um, and with the fact that we've also had stories of many of our members using high street firms as solicitors and ending up with bills of £1,500 to £2,000 seeking possession of a property, um, we, we thought it would be better to seek out a quality firm of lawyers, uh, solicitors, and negotiate a rate based on the volume of work that we could potentially provide them with. Um, with that in mind, um, we approached the city firm of lawyers based in Canary Wharf and we have uh, managed to negotiate rates that are as low as £630 for a Section 21 uh, possession case, uh, which includes the court fee, and that fee would be applicable where there is no hearing. If the Section, one, if the section 21 um, here, um, notice was challenged and there was a hearing, that would increase by um, approximately £180 to £810. In addition, um, where you have a tenant with arrears and you're going under Section 8 or you're going under Section 8 for um, alleged antisocial behaviour, we've managed to negotiate a fee of a low, as low as £765, which also includes the court fee. Now, these fees are based on the I House members serving the notices or making other arrangements to serve the notices, i.e. the Section 8 notice or the Section 21 notice. Um, and that's a service that most um, members can undertake themselves, especially if they were to ring the helpline um, where um, advisors can talk them through the service. If they don't feel confident doing that, um, the city firm solicitors that we've um, engaged would also serve those notices and they, those notices can be served for as little as £90 each or they would serve both notices for a fee of £108.